Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Eddie Marcus here again. I woke up this morning thinking about uh, being a Christian and what it's supposed to represent and being an American and what it is supposed to represent. And as I kind of ciphered this information, I concluded very rapidly that religion and Christianity in America really does not have that much true significance when you think of uh, identifying what it means, most people, if you ask them, they will say, well, I don't drink anymore. I stopped smoking. And some of them will say, I stopped uh, partying or stopped chasing the opposite sex, something to this degree. And to add to that, they maybe go to church more frequent and they give tithes and offerings. And most of them will identify this as being a good Christian. And this is exactly <clears throat> how most people interpret it. Because this is what they've been taught. They don't, uh, they are not taught the weightier things. See, they talk about what they stop doing. That's not what makes you a Christian. That's not what makes you a child of God. What makes you a child of God is what you start doing. You stop doing, but you start doing. If a seed uh, doesn't grow, you don't get any benefit. No benefit at all. So if you just stop doing things, where's the growth? Well, you didn't mention anything. So you're basically like a seed that's not producing. So the S, the efforts, my good friends, is to do something. Do something. Spread love. What is spreading love? Taking care of what needs to be taken care of. And when we're talking about people, we're talking about things that we can see and identify with because we are all people. And most of the things are common amongst us, like a lack of food. That's not good. Now, any God who would put somebody on the earth would make sure that they would have food. They do put the resources there and give the people the ability to ascertain it. And as situations change, adjustments would be made. Any God would do that. So anybody talking about God and love would be concerned that people have the essentials of for life and not a complicated matter because everybody's helping everybody. But that doesn't happen in America. That doesn't happen in many places in the world. In fact, um, there was a man who ran for president of the United States and he was a liar, he was a bigot, he was a racist, he was everything ugly that you can think of. And he represented nothing that was godly. Yet when he ran for president of the United States, even his second term, his second term, when he had been impeached twice for being no good, he got 70 some million people who said, this is our choice for president. In the United States, over 70 some million people said, this is our choice. 70 million people. He represented nothing. And guess who were the main people over there? People who were out there calling themselves Christians, calling themselves fundamentalists, calling themselves evangelicals, calling themselves conservatives, calling themselves right-wingers, calling themselves superior, calling themselves privileged, white. All that God that they'd been talking about that Jesus represented. They put it on hold because they wanted somebody who could get in office and do whatever was necessary to stack the positions of power, judges, with people who thought like them, who didn't give a stink about God with all a front. You know, when the, that president was talking about fake news, he should have been talking about fake church because all of, and when he came back and looked like he was failing, Guess what the fake church did? 
They were calling on angels from all over the world, calling on angels to come and support this evil individual, this evil person with this evil agenda that they were supporting. They were calling God to come and, and beat everybody else out of the way and put this turkey in office. Can you believe that? No wonder there's been slavery. No wonder 400 years of treating people who weren't white as second-class citizens. No wonder there's poverty and crime and violence all over the world. People are lying their behinds off. People don't give a stink about God. I'm telling you, not even the Pope cares about God. How can he sleep at night? God himself being an agent of God and all of this crap going around in the world. And he can sleep at night. <clears throat> well, it's just a game, it seems. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for letting me frustrate for a moment. Thanks again.